his existence in the program was kept secret until the advent of Soviet glasnost in the late 1980s. Born in Porfiryevka, Crimea in USSR, Neliabov was a captain and pilot in the Soviet Air Force. He was selected as one of the original 20 cosmonauts on March 7, 1960 along with Yuri Gagarin. The following year, six of the original 20 were evaluated for assignment on Vostok flight crews between January 17 and 18, Gagarin, Tidov, and Neliabov were considered the top three candidates. For Vostok 1 Neliabov was chosen as second backup for Gagarin and presumably first backup for Vostok 2 for Tidov in April and August 1961 respectively. For the dual launches of Vostok 3 and Vostok 4, Neliabov was again chosen as a backup for Andrian Nikolaev and Pavel Popovich. On March 27, 1963, Neliabov, Ivan Anikayev and Valentin Filatyev were arrested for drunk and disorderly conduct by the militia at Chkalovskaya station. According to reports, the officers of the security patrol that arrested them were willing to ignore the whole incident if the cosmonauts apologized, but Neliabov refused, and the matter was reported to the authorities. Because there were previous incidents, all three were dismissed from the cosmonaut corps on April 17, 1963, though officially not until May 4, 1963. Following dismissal he went back to flying interceptors in Siberia but fell to drinking and depression. While drunk, he stepped in front of a train near the Ipolitovka station, northwest of Vladivostok. To protect the image of the space program, efforts were made to cover up the reason for Neliabov's dismissal and his following suicide. His image was airbrushed out of the famous Sochi 6 photo which showed the top members of the original class of Soviet cosmonauts.